So what do you do if you're a DJ and the promoter has asked you to share a post at a certain time, but you know you're going to be out playing at another gig? How do you do that? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how. This is a great video for DJs, but also if you're a business owner as well, this one's for you. Today, we're going to have a look at Metrical, which is a great site which allows you to schedule posts ahead of time. Also some great analytics on there and some monthly reports as well that you get sent, which is gonna help you understand how your page is performing. So as always, no BS, we get straight to it. Remember to click that link to subscribe to make sure you don't miss out on any future episodes. Just before we start this video, I'm gonna drop a comment below with my affiliate link. Just click on that and that'll take you straight to Metrical. Let's jump in. Okay, this is Metrical. Let's have a look at this. Uh, first of all, this is where you sign up here. So just uh, put in your details there and create your free account. And then you can see the pricing here. If you did want to upgrade at any point, these are the options that you've got. Uh, but for the free account, it basically gives you everything that you need to be able to manage one brand. Uh, that would be your Facebook and your Instagram, for example. Okay, so then to actually create your account and add your account, you just need to click in the top right hand corner on these three lines and add your brand. Click on accept there. And then here you would click on the uh, Facebook page to connect it and select the page that you want to add to your account. So then once you've done that, these are the pages that you get. So you'd have your Facebook and your Instagram account connected. So once you've added in your information, you can see some basic overviews here of uh, your growth, uh, number of likes that you're getting, how many clicks, all of that kind of stuff. Also gives you an indication of the type of content that you're posting, whether it be an image, an album or a video. You've also got access to your inbox so you can view all of your messages here. Then you've got the planning section, which is actually where you post your content and schedule your content. So you can see here, it tells you each day of the week, and then down here is the time of the day. Um, and when you click on the analytics, you'll be able to see the best times to post for you. So wherever the higher percentage is or the darker color, that is your best time to post. So it's really easy to be able to read this content and then actually create your content from it. So let me show you how you would schedule a post. So let's say that we want to schedule a post for seven o'clock on Friday the 29th. Here we go. We just go to our photos, whatever it is that we want to post, drag in the image, and then you can write your text as well. And then you can paste in your hashtags. Then down the bottom here, you've got a few options. This one is for location. So always add a location of where you want the content to be seen. So I'm going to put London. That's my biggest audience. Then if you click on these three dots on the top right there, you can tag people on Instagram. So I definitely recommend you always tag yourself. And then if you want to tag anyone else, you can tag up to 20 people and add them in there and then click on save. If you also want to have someone as a collaborator on this post. So if I was going to share this post now and I wanted it also to go to my uh, page Mikasa es tu casa. I can add that in here. So you just click on the username for that account. And then now what will happen is when we go to post this, I'll get a notification on my Instagram page for Mikasa es tu casa saying that Paul's invited you to be a collaborator on this post and you just accept the post. Simple as that. So always tag someone on Instagram, always add in your hashtags and always add in a location as well. There's another button here called add first comment. So if I was going to be promoting a, an event here, I could put in a website to go to um, and that would automatically post on Facebook. Obviously not Instagram because you can't do that on Instagram. That's why you have the link in bio. But for Facebook, we could add in a web address here. Then when anybody sees that post on Facebook, when it goes out, the first comment will be the actual link to the website. So that's a really good tool to have. Remember, if you want to change the time or change the day, you can just click here and then change it to a different time. If you want to do it for 8 p.m., you can. 8 o'clock in the morning, just change it to there. And then literally all you do is then click on schedule. And there we go. There's our post scheduled for 8 o'clock tomorrow night 
And that is it. That is how you schedule content on Metrical. It's really simple. There's no need to overcomplicate it. It's just a great tool to use if you're busy and you've still got to promote stuff. Just before we move away from Metrical, let me just quickly show you the analytics section as well. So you can come down here to the report section and you can actually print out monthly reports showing you exactly how well you're doing on each section. This is where you put in the period that you want to do. And then we just click on generate PDF, then click on download. And there's our report for the month. And this is gives you Facebook and also Instagram as well. So it tells you a little bit about the community growth, um, how many views your posts have been getting, how many impressions you've got, how many clicks on the page. Um, and we scroll down further. This gives you ranking of your posts so you can see how well your posts are performing. That's all for Facebook. Then it comes down to your information as well on Instagram. So really good stuff tells you your demographics. So how many of your audience are male and how many are female, how old they are. It's just really good. And this is going to help you uh, decide what sort of content to share, because then you know the kind of people that you're sending content to. And this is another really useful one as well. The most popular countries and the most popular cities. So if you're a DJ, this would be a really good idea to plan your world tour. So you just look at your most popular countries and that is where you're going to plan to go and DJ because these are the people that know who you are. So it's really worthwhile looking at these these reports that come through, particularly this one from Metrical, which I really do like. So I hope that's helped you. Hope you understand that. And just quickly, the other option is Meta Business Suite. This is another way that you can schedule content. So again, if you look at the top left hand corner here, there's a planner section. You can just go on to here create post and again you can do your usual thing you can add in all your text there add in a photo and then we want to post it at 4 30 p.m and if this is what we want to post then we can just go down here to set time and date uh, so we want to post it at three let's say we want to post it at 3 30 p.m on instagram tells you both the ones down there then just click on schedule and that post will go out that way as well. Again, you can add in the hashtags and everything and location still as well. But just a quick look, two examples there of how you can schedule content in advance. I recommend Metrical just because it's got so many more good features.